What's up, Nabooers? <laughs> There's a lot of Naboos that don't have keyboards. And <laughs> I've been responding to a lot of comments where people say, I'm waiting for my Naboo, but I got no keyboard. What can I do? And I say, hey, man, don't worry. Just hook up your uh, second RS-422 adapter to the keyboard port and then just use a uh, terminal emulator. But I decided, hey, let's make a program. So here's the DJ's Naboo keyboard emulator. You can download it from uh, forums.nabu.ca. I put it inside of the internet adapter section for keyboard emulator. So jump in there and grab it if you want. Um, at the end of this video, I'll show you how I, how to hook it up, but here we go. So this is a windows keyboard and I just type like I normally would. That's all there is to it. Um, shift keys, control keys, backspace. I mean, it's, it's a, it's just a keyboard. So I can also go into uh, say user area one here and let's just load up game five and I'll show you the joystick. So I have the, you have two joysticks selectable here. Actually, I should just add four for fun because the NABU will support four joysticks. So maybe I'll do that in the next version. But um, yeah, so A is your, your button that you're gonna be using for, because the NABU only has a single button anyway. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, I mean, there's nothing to it. You can use the thumbstick if you put it in, in the analog mode or the D-pad if you want. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this because I actually do have one Nabu that is short a keyboard. So it might be this guy. So here's the connector and this is the uh, plastic part facing outwards. So this is the direction I'm holding it. Um, I'm using this female connector because I'm connecting to the female end of the uh, keyboard cable. Now, if you're going to be, if you don't have one of these cables, you're going to want to use the male side and plug directly into the NABU. But do not worry because the only two wires that we're going to need hooked up here is uh, going to be pins um, four and five. So you can see when I flip this around to the right there we go. You'll see that pins four and five are connected. And if we check the manual, and you can get this, this is the MGP manual. You can get it from the nabu.ca um, quiver. Now, the only wires that we're gonna need to hook up again are four and five. So the TX and plus and TX minus. And the thing to note is that you're gonna want to have the TX plus, which is from the keyboard, hooked up to the TX plus on the adapter. I know it sounds silly, but that's because this is talking about the keyboard output, not the input on the NABU. So you're actually hooking up, these actually are RXs on the NABU, TXs on the keyboard. Remember, we're gonna be using the computer to replace the keyboard. So you're gonna be hooking it up to the same way. I'll do a diagram at the end of this video that hopefully will make a little bit more sense. And here's your diagram. And you can't get much simpler than this. So all you're gonna to wanna to do is connect your TX plus to your TX plus, your TX minus to your TX minus. Now, again, it sounds silly because this is TX and it's because we're referring to the keyboard. In this case, the PC is gonna be the keyboard and this is gonna be the NABU. So you wanna just make sure that you use the appropriate pins. But you can go, like I mentioned, I have, I'm using um, a female because I'm using an extension because I'm using an existing cable. But if you don't have a keyboard, you probably don't even have this cable. So you're gonna to wanna to get a male version of the six pinned in that looks like this. All right, Nabooers, I'll see you in the next video. Later, skaters.